Today on Trey Hart, I'm going to talk about paying attention to eating and exercising. Stick around. Have you ever went to the fridge or cupboard and grabbed something without really thinking about it? Or perhaps you found yourself heading to the cookie jar almost like a second nature or perhaps while exercising, it seemed like every minute was an hour. And as you watched the clock, it seemed to hardly move. Well then, you're not alone. Sometimes we will eat in response to hunger, but other times it may be to, due to an emotional need. Now this, these are what some people call cravings. For example, if I have a stressful day, I almost always crave chocolate. Now, this is different from hunger. If I am hungry, then most any food will do. But when I have craving, then only what I'm craving at that time will suffice. The trick is to tell the difference. So, before I take a bite, I ask myself, am I really hungry? Or am I just trying to fill an emotional need? If it's hunger, then a small stack should suffice at least until I have my main meal. If it's a craving, then what emotional need do I have? And what are some better alternatives to help me cope? One thing that helps me differentiate between the two is how will I fill in the short term and how will I fill in the long term? Basically, will I feel guilty or will I feel content? And am I having any other signs of hunger? Like, is my stomach rumbling? Or do I have a headache? Am I actually thirsty instead of hungry? Yes, sometimes the body sends the wrong signals. There are ways that I make my workouts more interesting. One is, I try to vary my activity. So I reduce the boredom factor. I usually do this by changing up the different ways of walking. I also use different mediums for the other exercises. Such as, I will watch videos one day, use a gaming system on the other, and then exercise apps on another day. I try to ensure that I have a purpose or a goal for every workout. And I try to keep in mind what each exercise is doing for me. So during the exercise, to try to remain focused on that exercise, and on the occasion when I find my mind wandering, I take a deep breath and refocus my attention. The last thing is to end positively. I think about the hard work I am doing and how it will help me accomplish my goals. Well, Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this beneficial. If you like this video, press like. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. In the meantime, I will see you again.